Veterans Day, November 11th, 2022. We're here in Evansville, Indiana. It's her birthday, and we're going to go eat at Pangea. Now, I looked up the menu on the website, and I thought because it was called Pangea, it would be like food from all over the world and a lot of variety, but it seems to be mostly Italian and Thai food, which I think is kind of an odd combo. But we're going to go in, we're going to check this place out. Very interesting ceiling. What do you know? Directly by my chair was the restroom behind my chair. Sorry. So we're going to check this restroom out as always because that is part of the restaurant experience. If you got to go, you got to go. You don't want to be, uh, when it's time to get rid of the food you just ate, you'd like to do it in a nice environment. So here we go. It smells, uh, Smells good in here. Very odd wall material. I like this. Very fancy. Actually, this bathroom kind of smells like the way it looks, in a way. Hey, right here, let's see. What's that say? Linen fresh, okay. Ugh, look at that grunge from that um, spring roll. Oh, there's the flusher. I, I didn't know. Uh, what's that? Is that a uh, jousting sword? Very nice fast flush on that. All right, this is my this is my spring roll appetizer. What's this? That's got bait. What is this? Beretta with uh, prosciutto. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. The spring roll, which kind of smells like marijuana. Not bad. It's cold. I expected it. Hot. It's more like a. Um, it's got like a rice paper outside on it. Good though. Bruschetta, mm -hmm. bacon, and stuff. Prosciutto, whatever. I just don't eat bread a lot. There you go, Preston. That's a weird looking noodle. Okay, that stuff is cheese. So oh, it's cheese on it. Okay, and then here's my roasted vegetables. It never specified what kind of vegetables, and looks like it's Brussels sprouts, and I like Brussels sprouts, okay. Roast pork. A little chewy, not too bad. Brussels sprout. That's super good. I'm gonna try a bite of her pizza. Sausage, sweet chili, basil. That's yeah, pretty sweet. You really don't know how to describe it. I could I couldn't eat more than a slice of it, just because it's. I can I see where other people would really enjoy it, but it's not the Rosie Claire Arcade, that's for sure. Okay, it's a week later. I'm just hanging out home bumming it. I've got watching TV with the glow of the Christmas tree, so it's kind of dark. Uh, one of the things I like about this time of year is having just the glow of the Christmas tree being the only light. So let's talk about Pangea. What did I think about it? Well, I want to start off with telling you the price of the meal. It was like 61 or $63, something like that. 
and there's a point to this. And when you go in, you have to stand in this long line. You have to order off the menu, which is on the wall. And it's it's not... Some of it's written huge. Some of it's typed out and it's small. I didn't have my glasses on. So thank God I looked at the website ahead of time and knew what I was going to get. Because I couldn't have read this stuff on the wall. It, it wasn't like super tiny, but... If you have, and I, and I don't have, my vision's not horrible, but it's, but it's, you know, I'm, it's starting to be where I can't read stuff that size. You have to wait in this line and then you order there, you order your food and then you have to find your own seat and there's three different seating areas. We got, we were sitting I, and it was just crazy in that front room. So I just picked the first free table I could find, which was when you go through this doorway and it was in the bar area, but we got moved because they didn't they kids aren't allowed to sit at the bar area even though we weren't drinking or anything so we got moved to this back room which is it looked like some kind of conference room or something <laughs> and uh they had another set of bathrooms that i didn't see on the way out but you had to go down this hallway that looked like the alley of a city the you have to get your own drinks and the soda machine, I don't drink soda usually, 99% of the time I don't, and the and the tea were next to each other, but they had that that uh, Lipton Brisk tea that, that they try to make it taste lemony, but it just turns out like dish soap, and I took a swig of that tea and was like, this is horrible, I'll just get water, but to get water, you have to go back up to where you ordered from, and uh, they, they'll pour it for you in a pitcher. The only time you see any wait staff is when they bring your food out, basically, or they're cleaning the table. So you essentially get the same service you get at a fast food place. It reminded me, first one that came to mind was Fazoli's. How you go order, you sit down, they bring your food out, and that's basically the last you see of them. Unless it's a good day where they're bringing around breadsticks. You, uh, which, it, it, you know, I haven't eaten Fazoli's. Oh, hell, it's been a couple of years. But the past couple of times I'd eaten there, they weren't going around bringing breadsticks like they used to. The, uh, yeah, so you, you don't get really much service out of these people at all, uh, which I think is really crappy for what you pay. And then when I went to get water, uh, I told them on the, on the fountain machine, there was one of those little white buttons on one of the drinks that usually dispenses water. Like, like when you go on these things, you see like a Powerade or, or some kind of lemonade, you can just dispense water out of it if you want water to drink. Well, I saw one of those and it still dispensed soda. I was like, hey, and there was still a little bit of soda in the glass. I said, I just want water. You know, I don't want nothing over there. Hey, they started to pour the water in the in, in this soda. And I was like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? That's got sugar and stuff in that. Because I I, I don't like sugary drinks. I, I rarely ever drink a soda. Every once in a while, I'll get a craving for a mellow yellow or a Coke. But I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, I don't, that, that, that pissed me off because I've had somebody do that to me before at a, at a drive thru. And, uh, then I, I, I just hate it. I think it's stupid. I think you ought to just get a fresh glass. So as far as service goes, uh, yeah, in that place, especially for what you pay, um, no, it's not good. It's, it's actually, I think it's pretty, I, I, I was really, I'm glad I waited a week. I was going to really tear this place and a new ass on this review because of the service, but I've calmed down a bit now, but I thought the service was just terrible for what you pay to be honest uh let's get to the food my food was not bad uh i ordered the roast vegetables and then you get to pick your protein because they've got other stuff besides meat uh the the roast vegetables i got were was brussels sprouts carrots and then at the very bottom a little bit of i think it was bean sprouts maybe these brussels sprouts and carrots were good Okay, and, and I'm not a huge Brussels sprouts fan, but I do get a craving for them every once in a while. I like them all right. Just I I couldn't eat that many of them though. It was just they were they were good, but I mean you I got a ton of food. The roast pork I wish would have been more tender and more flavorful, but it wasn't bad. They gave me a ton of food, and unf I wish I hadn't ate on the way. I stopped and got something to eat at the gas station on the way because we were having to see a family member in the hospital and we didn't know how long it was going to be till uh for sure we got to eat and i ate too much food from the gas station so i wasn't that hungry the to-go container i got was it looked like 
or you know the Chinese uh the Chinese food containers when you get takeout the black with the clear lid on it. It was like that but smaller. I don't like wasting food, but unfortunately there was no way to take all my leftovers home and literally at no less than 80% of my meal got wasted. In fact, I'd almost bump it closer to 90% because I couldn't take most of it home. And even if I had, hadn't have eaten that, I mean, I would have got filled up pretty quick. So you do get a lot of food for your money. That's, that's a positive. My food wasn't bad. I was, there somebody got the tacos and the tacos look pretty good, but they weren't like what you think they, they were like, I guess close to what they call street tacos, like on a soft tortilla. I, I'm guessing that was the tacos. I saw tacos on the menu and whatever this person had definitely looked like some kind of tacos to me. They look good. Some of the other Italian food they had listed, it, it seemed like it'd be pretty good. My wife's pizza was not my thing. I can't remember what's on it. She says in the video, I couldn't eat more than a slice of it and I'd be tired of it. I don't know. It's just not my thing. The bread with the cheese and whatever that other crap was she got. I don't eat a lot of bread. I never got the appeal of just bread and cheese or like, that's why I don't like cheese pizza. If I buy a pizza, I want everything they have to go on that pizza put on it pretty much. Uh, and that's why I don't order pizza a whole lot because it's expensive the way I like it. Uh, the spring roll, that's what I was trying to get going in my head. That spring roll I had was good. It was, it was not what I expected. I thought I was going to get like a, a big fried spring roll, like at a, a Chinese buffet, but it was made, it was, it looked like the rice paper was what it was wrapped in. And I've made stuff like that at home. The mushrooms they put in it were really good. It had, it had kind of a gingery flavor to it, but I wish I would have just got that. I, I wish I would have skipped the other thing. I, I, I feel like I'm talking to, kind of bad about their food. I'm really not. I'm just trying to express that it, it, it was okay, you know. It it, it was just, yeah, it, it was okay. It wasn't bad. Would I go back? If my wife wants to go back, I'll really, I would go back. But as far as me on my own, no. It, it, it's, the, it's too much chaos in that place and, to, and too much of a self-serve place to pay those kind of prices. And granted, the I mean, my meal was, I mean, everything I got all together, which, I mean, I even paid for the drink that I ended up not using, was, it, it, I think, I don't, actually don't know how much mine was. I know it was at least 15. I know it was more than 15. I don't know if it quite hit 20. Well, it was 60-something dollars for the, for three of us to eat, so, I mean, you're, I'd say plan on spending 15, 20 bucks on yourself. But yeah, I, 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 uh, I'd go back for her because there's other stuff I wouldn't mind trying there, but it's just, it's not, not my thing at all. Uh, and with that said, I really don't know what else to say. I suppose if I had to give it a rating on a scale from like one to 10 with the, all things considered service, food, everything on a scale from one to 10, I'd give it a five. It, it was for my wife's birthday, so it, she was thrilled with it, and that, that's what that's what matters. Can you guess what video game the music came from on the first part of this video? And I say first part because I've got a bonus for you. We're going to take a look at Eastland Mall in Evansville, Indiana. We, we went there for a little bit after we ate before we had to go back to the hospital. I was wanting to get a full mall tour, but we ended up having to go, so I only got part of it. Uh, but here you go.
The dedication. You can hit what you're supposed to. This thing smells about like you think it would. Where if you can drink that? 